it's really important to point out the research gap. The research gap is really the raison d'etre of your paper. It's your reason for being. Otherwise, you don't have a paper if you don't have a research gap. And there are four types of research gap. There can be insufficient studies, previous studies can be limited, there can be an unresolved problem that needs resolving, and there can be a lack of consensus on previous literature. And ideally, you want to combine more than one research gap. And we've got that here. In this specific case, it's a lack of understanding. A very similar thing is done here. We've got the literature review and then scholars point to the dearth of understanding, particularly regarding this. And then, apart from a lack of understanding, we also point out problems with previous studies or limitations of previous studies. While certain frameworks exist, they are limited in certain ways. So in here, we've got a nice combination of more than one research gap. And then similarly here, we talk about a lack of studies and a practical problem that needs resolving. So again, we've got two different research gaps combined.